the narcissist creates an alternate reality. Please like the video, share your thoughts in the comment section, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and share the video with anyone who you believe may help. If you are a victim of narcissistic abuse or a targeted individual, this video will resonate with you and what you have experienced with these types of people. The narcissist experiences great disappointment in their lives. Everything is difficult for them. Achieving even a fraction of what you have achieved in any aspect of your life is very challenging for them. It takes a lot of their time and effort while it comes e very easily for you. At this point the narcissist recognizes that they are inferior to you. This could be due to your progression in any aspect of your life. You may have come from a wealthy family or inherited a lot of money. You may wear expensive designer clothes. You may have a nice car or a nice house. You or someone you know has connections and so good careers come to you very easily. You have connections with people of high status, money or power. Relationships with the opposite sex come to you very easily. Basically in most aspects of your life, everything comes to you with minimal time and effort. You may be naturally good looking, have a naturally attractive physique. You may be naturally confident or charismatic. So everything comes to you with minimal time and effort. While the narcissist gives all of their time and effort, yet struggles to achieve even a fraction of what you have achieved. This triggers some very intense emotions within, within the narcissist. They become hateful, angry, envious and jealous towards you. Because everything you have obtained with minimal time and effort is a reflection of how little they have obtained. The narcissist looks at you and your life, everything you have obtained and feels a great sense of loss. They feel as though you have taken that which they were more deserving of because they put in far more time and effort than you ever did. But they didn't see the struggles you went through to obtain all of that. They just see the finished product. So now the narcissist feels resentful towards you. They may hold a grudge for years. And now they are going to do whatever they can to take away everything that ever made you who you are. Everything that ever triggered them to reflect on themselves. This is when they decide to create an alternate reality. In this alternate reality, they will re rewrite the past. They will make you believe that you haven't achieved anything. They will also prevent you from achieving or obtaining anything. They will make you believe that what you have isn't that great. They will make you believe that you are not as attractive as you may think you are. They will completely reconstruct your character and personality to be whatever they want it to be. Which is never going to be anything good, of course. For this to take place, for them to be able to reconstruct your original character and personality they are going to have to take away whatever it is that makes you who you think you are. They are also going to have to prevent you from ever achieving or obtaining this again. They will abuse and manipulate you to the point where you don't know who you are anymore. Then they are able to re-engineer your mental composition. 
they are able to reconstruct your beliefs, values and principles about yourself, other people and the world you live in. This is an essential process if they are going to bring you into this alternate reality or world. In this alternate reality, you basically become the opposite of everything you thought you were. So if you came from a wealthy family, suddenly your family doesn't have as much money as you thought they did. Suddenly everything that they achieved isn't as great as you thought it was. You may have worn expensive designer clothes and thought you dressed good. Suddenly everyone else is wearing the same clothes. So what you are wearing is no longer special. Or they will find a way to criticize your clothing as not being as great as you think it is. Same thing if you have a nice house or a car. They will always find a way to criticize or devalue anything great you have. Any good connections you had will disappear. They will no longer be, be able to help you or remove you from the situation. They will also be discredited along with anything good they ever did for you. Any relationship partners you had in the past will be devalued. They weren't as attractive as you thought they were. Or they were only with you for something. Or they will just pretend as though you never met anyone. Because they have to define you as this unattractive person who no one could ever be interested in. They have to do this. Because the truth is, they actually think of you as the exact opposite. They know just how great you are. They know that you are attractive. They know that you could achieve or obtain anything you want if they didn't intervene. This is why they have to do everything they can to make you believe that the opposite is true. That's why they have to create this alternate reality or world where you are not who you think you are or who you think you were. You are redefined as the person they want you to be. And anything that went along with your true character or personality has to be taken away from you and then kept away in order for them to maintain this false, false reality. Of course, if they were to allow you to achieve or obtain anything which resonates with your original character or personality, it would completely destroy the false narrative that they have created. It would completely destroy the false reality, false character and personality which they have constructed for you. In this alternate reality, they also have to create false rules and regulations. They have to make you believe that you cannot do certain things. Their false rules and regulations usually adapt to whatever it is you originally achieved or obtained, which hurt them and caused them to feel the very emotions which compelled them to create this false reality. So due to the intense hatred, anger, envy and jealousy they felt towards you because of everything you achieved and obtained with minimal time and effort, they felt compelled to create this false character and personality for you, which would live in the alternate reality or world they have created. Usually they create your false character first. And then they adapt the, the world around you to match this false character. So that way, the way that they want you to be seen can be adapted to by everyone around you. They create this psychological trap from which you cannot escape. 
you cannot find anyone or anything that resonates with your original character. Everyone responds to the false character. The false character which they have created for you. And they expect you to see yourself the same way. Your true character cannot exist in this false reality. If that were to happen, the false reality would fall apart. And that's why they are going to do whatever they can to prevent you from ever achieving or obtaining anything which does resonate with the person you originally were. The person you used to be. Your original character where everything came easily to you with minimal time and effort. Of course this does pose a problem for the narcissist. For them to sustain this false reality they have to do everything they can to maintain it. They have to feed the same narrative of your character and personality to everyone around you. They have to ensure that everyone is aware of the false reality that, ha that they have created for you. They have to prevent you from ever achieving or obtaining anything that resonates with your true original character. To sustain this false reality, everyone you come into contact with must develop an understanding and false beliefs about you. They must develop a false attitude towards you. They cannot ever be real or genuine with you. And this can also lock them into the very world that they have created for you. They end up losing control over their own creation as the false reality can become very unpredictable. They have to know what you are doing, where you are going and who you are seeing all day, every day. This is so that they can prevent you from ever achieving or obtaining anything that ever resonated with your original character and personality. From operating in this world for long periods of time, it becomes normalized to them. It becomes comfortable. It's used as a coping mechanism and a defense mechanism from your true original character. It helps them to cope with the intense hatred, anger, envy and jealousy they originally felt from witnessing your true character. The problem is, it is a false reality. It is a false world. It's not how real life is supposed to be. The false reality can only exist for as long as they are around to sustain it. And really, it is in inevitable that at some point it is going to fall apart. A false reality can never be sustainable for long periods of time. Over time it becomes more difficult for them to sustain this false reality. And that's when you will start to see them become more and more desperate. More and more obsessed with controlling you. Because with the amount of people coming in and out of this false reality they have created it becomes very difficult for them to sustain it. They literally have to control everything and everyone, whoever comes into your proximity at all times. That's a very difficult thing to do, especially for long periods of time. So what would happen if the narcissist ever realized that what they are doing is wrong? What would happen if they decided to shut down this false reality they have created for you? 
I believe that they would probably go insane. They would probably all become insociable if they dared to shut down this false reality that would allow you to reachieve and reobtain everything that they ever took from you. Everything they worked so hard to prevent you from achieving and ob obtaining again. The fact that they were willing to spend all of their time, effort and resources into creating this false reality for you should remind you just how much it hurt them when you achieved and obtained everything you did before they created this fal false reality. If they were cool with you having this stuff, they wouldn't have worked so hard to sabotage and destroy it in the first place. And they certainly wouldn't be doing everything they can to sustain the prevention of you ever redeveloping what you once had. So for them to leave this false reality they have created for you and then start being sociable with you again, respecting you and giving you your standard human rights again. After they have maintained this false reality with the motive of preventing you from achieving and obtaining anything, they wouldn't be able to cope with that. It would pose a serious threat to them to shut down the false reality they have specifically created for you. For them to take away the false attitudes and beliefs they have towards you. For them to take away the obsessive focus away from you. They would have to start all over again. They would have to relearn everything they have ever known. Standard beliefs, values and principles. Learning how to socialize with you and respect you as a human being. It would be extremely uncomfortable for, for them. Because this whole time they have been in denial and told themselves that, that the false reality is the real world. They have convinced themselves and everyone around them that the false reality is the real world. The false ca character and personality they have created for you is who you really are. If they ever had to accept that everything they know about you is wrong, it would drive them insane. They wouldn't be able to cope with the fact that you are not the false character and personality which they have assigned to you. Narcissists don't seem to understand how immoral it is to create these false realities. It is also against the law, but even if you don't bring the law into it, it is still immoral. As a human being, you have the right to live freely, to achieve and obtain whatever you like. The narcissist felt, felt intense envy towards everything you were, everything you had. So they had to force you into this world, this false reality. They don't understand that regardless of the intense emotions they feel towards you, it's still your right to be who you are and have what you have. The negative emotions they feel towards you do not justify their actions. But this whole time, they have been justifying their actions towards you. They have been justifying the abuse and manipulation, everything they have done to you. So at this point there can be no common ground or understanding towards you. Because the false reality they have created is based on fear and protect, protecting themselves. It's based on their need to control you and prevent you from ever achieving or obtaining anything 
that made them feel a different way. Once you've figured all of this out, you will want to leave their false reality. You will want to go back to being the person you were. You will want to continue where you, were le where you left off with your true character and personality. Everything they ever took away from you. Everything they ever tried to prevent. But the narcissist doesn't want you to leave. The whole point of creating the false reality and character is to prevent you from ever leaving. It's to make you believe that you never were the person you thought you were. You never had what you had. You were not worthy of it then and you are not worthy of it now. They just want you to stay in the lane that they have created for you and believe that it, it is all you deserve, all you are worthy of. They expect you to believe everything they are telling you about yourself. They do not want you to leave the false reality, the false character, and then start defining yourself and your reality. The whole point of the false character which they have created for you is that they want to be able to define you. That's what gives them the control. And when you entertain their false attitudes and beliefs, it's pulling you away from who you truly are even more. It's allowing them to pull your strings and create the character they want for you. They don't want you to see you for who you are or who you were. They want to see you from their false and distorted perceptions. And this does create a problem for them. Because when they are constantly trying to get you to adjust your perception to their distorted perceptions, when they do all of this, they are basically pulling themselves away from the very thing, the very person which they depend on so much to make them feel as though they exist, the very person who they depend on for constant attention and validation is the very person who they constantly abuse and manipulate. The very person you would think they want nothing to do with, yet they heavily depend on all day, every day. It's like a teenager and their parent. Deep down the teenager may love their parent, but it looks like hate. It looks like resentment. The teenager may appear to resent the parent on the surface. The reason for that is because they hate the fact that, the, that, that they are so heavily dependent on them. It's the same thing with a narcissist. The reason why they become so resentful towards you is because they hate the fact that they are so heavily dependent on you. Deep down they know that they need you. They just don't want to admit it. Think about it. If this was not true, why wouldn't they let you leave? Why wouldn't they create the perfect opportunity for you to leave? And that's how you know that they are not as, tr as truthful as they make themselves out to be. The whole time that you were achieving and obtaining everything you had, all they could do was watch and wish that was them. While you were enjoying your life and living your dream, they were suffering with deep envy and jealousy towards you. So creating this false reality is their way of switching on you. They want to make you believe that they are who you are and you are them. They want you to feel the pain that they once felt, the intense negative emotions, not knowing that your emotions do not operate in the same way. But if 
if you really look at it, everything they are doing is designed in a way to make you feel the very emotions that they once felt. Now it's designed to give you the very feeling of loss that they once had when you had everything. Everything is now intended to make you feel hate, anger, envy and jealousy towards them. Even if you don't feel that way, that's still the way that it's intended to make you feel. You are most likely not a narcissist, so you are not going to feel the same way that they do. But this is their expectation of you. And that's what the false reality is designed to do. When the false reality finally falls apart, or you leave the situation, they will probably have a mental breakdown. They will have to accept that everything they have been doing all day, every day, was never real. All they have been doing is creating a false reality designed to affect you and make you feel the way that they once felt. But none of it is real. So when you leave and begin to achieve and obtain everything you once had all over again, for real, it becomes a reminder to them of everything you once were, everything you really are, everything they have worked so hard to prevent. And at that point, it just completely destroys the false character which they had created for you. It destroys their false narrative which they gave to everyone around you. It destroys all of the false attitudes and beliefs. And at that point they are basically forced to move on with their lives. Because once you have left their false reality, they lose their capabilities to control you. They lose their capabilities to control what you have and what you do, what you achieve and what you obtain. So at this point, they are basically forced to back off and watch you live your life the way that you were always supposed to before they stepped in and intervened, before they tried to reconstruct your reality, character and personality. And I would love to be a fly on the wall when that happens. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that it resonated with you. I will talk to you soon in another video very soon.